Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WPLS. And our next guest is the CEO of Platinum Boy Music Incorporated, Platinum Boy hitman record producer and author. And he's here to speak about uh, his new book. Yeah, he put the pen to the paper. He has that brand new book out there of Amadeus and the beat goes on. And he's here. We're going to talk about all of that. He's here to, to uh, inspire the next generation to follow their dreams. So please welcome to the show, King. Amadeus. What an amazing introduction as always. First <laughs> off, my brother, happy new year to you, King. Always great to see you. And thank you so much, you know, for having me and allowing this opportunity for me to share, you know, uh, this amazing new book of mine uh, to the Bronx community. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, we're going to get right into that book because it's a, it's a special thing and it's a new project for you. But you've uh, let people know, people usually hear about you behind the scenes and everything, but King, you have done some wonderful things. Talk about all the wonderful things that you've done, producing and you're a drummer and you can just get into the whole thing. Go ahead. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, yes, I've been producing for over 20 plus years. Uh, blessed to produce for over 100 artists. Uh, to name a few, J-Lo, French Montana, Lil Wayne, Wiz Khalifa, Keisha Cole, Chris Brown, Trey Songz, Davies, Young and May, uh, yep. 112, Danny Kane, ESPN First Take, ESPN, Sports Center, Sprite, BET, Burger King, the list goes on and on and on. Also, Trey Songs is music director, tour drummer for the last 14 years to present. So anywhere you've seen him perform a live show, I'm somewhere behind him, you know, on the drums and putting the show together as a musical director. Also, I have a residency at Dre's Nightclub, which is the number one hip hop nightclub in Las Vegas and on the strip as a musician, as a producer. Um, drummer to be exact, which is very rare. You know, normally artists have residencies, DJs have residencies. So I was definitely one of the first to be a musician and a drummer to have a residency in Las Vegas. So that motivational speaker, music educator, and to add, you know, to the long list of titles that I have, blessed to have is author and uh, of the new book, The Story of Amadeus and the Beat Goes On. And that's me, um, humbly speaking, in a nutshell, and thank you again, Dr. Lee, for allowing yeah. me that opportunity. Wow, and all those things that you mentioned, the beat goes on and on and on until the break of dawn. That's some of the things I say every morning after I get off the air. Um, yes, sir, I love it. Um, but what inspired you to want to put the pen to the paper? Um, throughout the years, I've always been passionate about speaking to students and going to colleges and just people in general in regards to pushing them to chase their dreams and to live their dreams. Um, I think it's a lot of people settle in life. A lot of people settle for things that they don't necessarily love and are most passionate about. And I just don't feel, I personally don't believe that's the way you should live life. I feel like you should live life doing what you love to do, doing what you're most passionate about because you wake up excited. You know, you're not doing the nine to five and it's no disrespect and no shots, nine to fives. It's just, you can do a nine to five. It can be you pursuing your career and whatever it is, but as long as you love it, I think that's what's most important. So. Me being from the Bronx, me being from once tonight from Washington now, I know to be exact, the hood, the projects, the bottom, they call my block the nine, not for the nine, the number nine, but literally you know, <laughs> the nine, unfortunately. Um, so with that being said, I just want people to push and to keep going and not to give up, regardless of circumstance, regardless of surroundings, environment, gangs, negativity, violence, you can still do and become who you want to be in life. And that's why, you know, I created this book, The Story of Amadeus, to kind of get into the details of how I became, you know, this successful musician and producer. There you go. Beautiful. I'm from the South Side, Queensbridge, 10th Street. <laughs> all love, all love, look, 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 all love, all love. <laughs> Molly Ma, Nas, Mob Deep, you know. Yes, sir. <laughs> Legends. Yeah, yeah. So that's beautiful. So and the story behind it, give me a quick synopsis of what's in the book. And of course, it's about a lot of the things that you've done, right? And you inspire Absolutely. people to follow those footsteps. Just kind of getting into the details of what Saturday mornings was like, you know, in regards to having to clean up every Saturday and or yeah. you couldn't go outside to play. And I know, Dr. Lee, you can relate to that. A lot of these young kids don't know nothing about that today. It's a different day yeah. that they live in. But for us, we had to clean up. The house had to be spick and span before we was able to go right. out. So I get into the, the details of that and my parents playing music and each and every Saturday they would rotate on who would, you know, play music on that Saturday. So I, I, I get into that. I get into me picking up the drumsticks for the first time in fourth grade and learning that I had this ability to play drums that I didn't, that I wasn't aware of. So that 
you know, going to church and discovering God and learning God and building a relationship with God and my late and great pastor and Bishop, Bishop Michelle White, rest in peace, yeah. queen, That's for it. allowing me that opportunity, you know, to play at her church and become a musician. So all of those steps in the journey and the road of really me becoming who I am, you know, it's in the book, uh, going in high school and, and, and not having music and band as a subject and uh, me kind of yeah. like going to the to, going to the school and going to the class like hey I didn't get this class but I need to be in this class and auditioning live right there on the spot in front of you know the students and teachers and him hearing me and say okay yeah we do need you and becoming the first freshman uh to lead the seniors band as a drummer so all of those different things and stories is in here straight to the point I'm I'm you know I'm not I'm not happy to admit this but I'm always going to be real honest transparent I'm not the biggest reader in the world so I kind of was like, when I created this, I said, I want to get right to the point. I don't want it to be long and drawn out. I want to keep people's attention. So it's not a very long book. It's, 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 it has pictures on each and every single page from me and my childhood. This is actually me on the cover, you know, touching my dad's stereo with his headphones on. That's actually me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we go from there to, uh, you know, me again, touching his, touching his radio. You know, and uh, it looks like I got caught. You got me doing the MJ right there. <laughs> you know, the next page, you, you know, you got me getting my first drum set right there. Yeah. So these are the moments that I want people to see. And, and I want people to just learn about me and how I, again, how I became, you know, who I am today. Leading up to my career as a producer. It kind of sets you up of how I started production wise. And then it kind of just stops. And you're like, well, what happens next? And that's, you know, that's why the other part of the title is and the beat goes on. So. Might be a part two, uh, might be a part three, might be a part four. Yeah, I like you it, know? I like it. Yeah, I, I can get with that, I can get with that. And uh, what advice would you give youngsters? Because, uh, you know, a lot of people want to get into this music. Music captures the soul, you know, and it's universal and it's worldwide, you know. Absolutely. What advice would you give to people looking to get into this business of ours? Well, I, and I know you can relate to this, Dr. Lee. Back then, you know, again, I'm 20 plus years at this and, for, as a musician, as a, as a producer, wasn't really the, a cool thing to do. It's not like people was like, okay, I want to become a producer. I want to become a DJ. It was, it was really rare. And it wasn't a lot of people doing it. So I was kind of in my own lane. Like my competition was kind of like the people who I look up to. That because everybody wasn't waking up saying, I'm going to be a record producer. But now, 2022, everybody, their mama, their uncle, the dogs, the cats, the fish, everybody <laughs> want to be in the music world and the music yeah. game. Why? Because everything is so accessible now. We have the internet, we have social media. You know, you can get you a computer and have access to softwares for you can create music. Back then, you know, a drum machine was like $1,300 and didn't come with no sounds. And right. now today you get a, a program with, for $500 and it comes with all the sounds. So a lot is being handed and, 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 and handed directly to people, which is why people I feel want to become a producers and musicians. And it ain't what it seems, man. It ain't what it seems. So I want to encourage people. You can do it. But again, make sure that you love it. Make sure that you're passionate about it. The politics that comes along with it, the negativity that comes along with it, the closed doors, people doubting you, you know, not believing in what you're capable of doing. All of that is a part of breaking into the business. And if you don't have that hard shell on the outside, you know, you won't make it. So be passionate about it, of course. After the passion, it's about believing. It's about believing that you're capable of doing what you want to do in life. All of those dreams that you have, you know, I feel that those are visions that God gives you of what you can do and who you can be in life if you wake up out of that dream and actually put the work in. You know, it's not like he's going to drop or sprinkle down success on you. Like he already put the gifts and the talents in you now it's about you nurturing it. Now it's about you shooting in the gym. Now it's about you rehearsing and practicing and applying yourself and playing your part. You know what I mean? So I, I figured you put all of those things in one basket, mix it up, you know, put it in the oven, bring it out. And I feel like you'll have yourself as a masterpiece that you can, you know, share, you know, with the world. So that's definitely some advice that I would give. And not just to kids, but adults too. You know, yep. dreams are not only for kids, to achieve, therefore, adults to achieve Keep as dreaming. well as they. Keep dreaming. I like it, man. I, I, they, I, I know they want to give me a hard rap here, but I, I have some more questions, so I'm going to have to keep you on for an hour. No, <laughs> we can't do it right now, but I need to get you on so we can talk more because there are these memorable moments, whether it be backstage 
on tour, on the tour bus, on a flight, or on stage with somebody that you know that you want to highlight or tell somebody about. So, um, and I know we got to wrap, but really quick, me being from the Bronx, me being from New York, I think it was a really big deal for me to play Madison Square Garden. Um, yeah. My mama and my dad went to see shows there, so it's legendary. All of the greats played there. Yeah. And that was a dream of mine. And I was able to play Madison Square Garden, not one time, but five times uh, with Trey songs. Yeah, opening up for yeah. Jay-Z on one tour, opening up for Usher on another tour, opening up for Mariah Carey on New Year's Eve. You know, so we, we had a lot of really great moments. And that's just one. It's a bunch that I can name. I know uh, we don't uh, have time for that, but we got to come yeah. back and do a part two, Dr. Lee. We got to come back yeah. and do a part two, man. Well, you know, you're always welcome back, man. You know, this is well, we're wide open. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you for having me always, man. Where can we go to get more information on you? Absolutely. I have the website, www.iamkingamadeus.com. Once again, that's www.iamkingamadeus.com. That's my, that's my website on Instagram. It's Amadeus PBM, A-M-A-D-E-D-E-U-S PBM. Twitter, producer Amadeus. Facebook, Antoine Amadeus Thompson. Any one of those, you can reach me. Any one of those, you can message me to order the book. You can go to the website and order the book. However you need to reach me. There it is. And before we go, I'm going to give a really big, big, big shout out to my co-authors, Lynn Hobson and Trina Stackhouse. I wouldn't have been able to do this and create this vision uh, to share with the world without them. So much, much, much love to them as, 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 as well. All right, King. There you go. You laid it all out. Bam. I can't wait to see it again on a replay. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> King Amadeus. The King is in the house. Multi-platinum, bad boy, hitman, record producer. Keep on producing, brother. And uh, we'll do, my brother. Thank you so much, doctor. We'll get together and we'll break some bread, man. Absolutely. All right. Have a blessed day. We'll take a break right here and uh, I'll give you a whole lot more. We've got a fantastic show lined up for you. And this is just a, an example of it. All right. We'll take a break. I've got more coming up next on Open.